a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little a bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older but regardless of that there is a lovely backdrop here the ambience is good smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps As you can see, we've already started here. Davis has got himself a free kick. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. And it's Dinia. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Douglas Luis. Aston Villa have a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. He's gone for it! And the ball's come out! And that has been clubbed away. McBurney gets it away. Quintia. Now it's Diaby. Diaby goes for the cross. Oh, the clearance is short. Chance to shoot. Away from immediate danger. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And it's Dinia. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Oh, sweet feet. Can't get the better of his opposite number. McBurney displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Going through. Face to face with the keeper. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. The Blades had to settle for a point on opening day. Not ideal, but better than nothing. No goals as yet. Basham, Davis, he gets past his man, Davis puts his foot on the gas, lovely feet, has a hit! Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead... Hits one! Plenty waiting in the middle. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. 
out to the right. Looks to thread it through. Loose ball, who's going to get that? He's found his man. He could be in here. Corner it is. Tonsa tries to clear. It's gone for a throw in. McAtee, promising cross, point blank header! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. He's put it on the right now. What's on? Cash. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. McAtee. Hamer. Basham plays it forward. Hamer. McAtee. Uh, ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. With a delicate ball. Forward it goes. Referee's had a look. And he's blown his whistle for half-time. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. The villains head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. By the team any further forward than they were when they started out. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Consa gets it back. McAtee. It's on a plate. And the shot. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Could be thinking about a shot here. Davis. McAtee. And there's a long ball. Nicely controlled. Inya very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Fence has got rid of that. He's had a go! What a wonderful goal! And that has only enhanced his already huge reputation. They were obviously hoping for an early second half boost, but there are a few who can truly make it happen. And this is a very welcome tonic now. That is some volley. Great technique. Diaby simply judged everything beautifully. That takes a lot of training ground practice, and we know what practice can make. Musa Diaby. Substitution on the field. Number 33. Aston Villa break the deadlock. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Sheffield United keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. McGinn. Diaby.
The attendance for this match was 71,800. Now the counter. Has he picked him out? Well positioned to make that interception. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Substitution on the field. Number 10. The Blades making another change here. Brewster coming on. Can he continue his terrific scoring impact on the competition? And he's going long. He's got options out wide. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Inya gets his foot in there. What a throw in. Oh, good steal. He just read it. Basham. Davis. McBurney. And helps available out wide. He's got away. So Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got. He's left his man. Hey, Matt. McAtee. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Luis gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Dinya. Dinya meets it first time! Oh, and that should have been two. When Dia has reacted in utter shock here for him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible. Coming on to replace him is... And that's been Lever clear. Number 16. Diaby. Gorgeous control there. Aston Villa are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Luis drives it forward. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Back into the middle. That's a brilliant interception. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any... Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. The villains the just have to run down the clock. Number 45. Hamer. Davis. Hamer. Great strength, too strong, strong for his opponent. Time. Davis goes up and over. McGinn. Heymar. And that is that.
Aston Villa hold on it's a narrow squeak this bit of luck some judgment 1-0 the score at the stronger. final whistle Won't yeah win. it was a, a fairly stern test with very little between two teams that scrapped for everything so before we go many thanks to Ch